Hey everyone, you're watching my video series on AWS Lambda and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Lambda to read data from DynamoDB. Okay, so here we are in my editor and I've copy pasted the function that I wrote in the previous video and I just removed everything in the function but I've kept the dependencies because we're using the same dependencies in this video. So just as in last video, we're first going to start by creating an object that explains to DynamoDB what we really want. So I'm going to say var scanning parameters. Actually, let, let us let make let's make that a let. And we're going to make this an object and we're going to say we want to scan the table. Oops, table name. And we want to scan our guest book table and we want to get a maximum of 100 items from our table. And let's now go to the document client from DynamoDB. Let's say scan. We want to scan with the scanning parameters that we just created. And we're going to say function error data. Uh, okay. And so if there is an error, we're, we obviously want to pass that back to Lambda. So another function can fail and that we can get logging on this like that. And if it doesn't fail, we call Lambda again, but this time without an error and with the data that the document client has returned to us. So this is pretty basic. It's almost identical to the previous function that we wrote, except that we use a scan instead of a put and that we use a different uh, parameter object uh, here, obviously. Now, I'd like to point out something. Here, I'm using the scan option, but in DynamoDB, scanning can be quite expensive because scanning means that DynamoDB loops over all the items in your table. But for this video, this is kind of fine. It's to demonstrate the functions of DynamoDB. Just mind you that if you use scan, it can be a huge performance bottleneck. Now, what's the difference between scan and query? Well, as I said, scan looks through your entire table. If there are millions of records in there, scan looks at all of them. But if you query, DynamoDB only looks at the records that match your, uh, your query. So let me show you that example as well. Um, now, in DynamoDB, you can only query on the primary key. That's very important to remember. You can only query on the primary key and then you can sort on the secondary key. So let me comment this all out and let me also show you how you can query something in DynamoDB. So we're going to start again by defining our parameters and we're going to create a new object for this and we want to query the table guestbook, obviously it's still the same table and we want to query on the key. Now we only have one key, we don't, we don't have a secondary key, we only have a primary key. So I want to filter on the date key. And so let's say I know the date of a particular comment and I want to fetch that particular comment. Then I can type in the number of the comment uh, here. So that's it. Those are the parameters for our query. We basically say, go to the table guestbook and let's filter, let's return all the elements where the date field has this particular value. Now, because the primary key is date and a primary key has to be unique, this will always return zero or one elements. So how can you now run this query? Well, you can say doc client dot get. We obviously want to use our parameters. And again, we're attaching a callback with error and data. And if there is an error, we say uh, if there, no, sorry, if there is an error, we can call the callback function of our Lambda function. There we go. And if there's not an error, we also call the callback for Lambda without an error, error null, and with the data. Now you might think, hey, this is stupid. If you query something, it always returns zero or one records, not anything more. That's just not true because you also have secondary indexes in DynamoDB. Now DynamoDB is not the simplest database engine out there. And I know this is pretty confusing. I've struggled with this myself when I started out with DynamoDB, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually really powerful because it can scale so well. So I'm gonna comment this all out because we really want to use the scan operation. We really want the 100 latest items in our guest book. And let's save it, let's deploy it, and let's go look at the Lambda console 
if it works. Okay, so here I am in the Lambda console and let's go open up our function. It's called DynamoDB read and let's go ahead and test it and see if it returns the record that we created in the previous video. So let's hit test here and there you go. It returns us one item with the message love your site on posted on that particular date and it also returns count one in scan count one. So let's now add a new entry and see if it really works. So let's go to DynamoDB, let's go to the guestbook table, go to items, and let's create a new item. I'm gonna make up a date here. This is probably not a, val a valid date, but that's fine. We're gonna append a string and we're gonna say message is, I also love your website. There we go. So I'm gonna click save. That added the record to our table. Let's go back to Lambda. Let's test our function again. And as you can see, it now returns two items. I also love your website up front. And the count is now two and the scan count is now also two. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to create a front end for the guestbook functions that we wrote in this video and the previous one. I hope you find this topic interesting. And if you do, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter.